Hey guys, Slimber here, aka a redneck? I don't know. And today we're gonna check out my favorite website, Reddit. Let's get right into that. Uh. Uh. Um, l l let's, let's, let's fucking read these stories, these amazing stories. So, the first thing I found was a guy who, well, you see, he, he wanted his sister to give him a foot job. And so, obviously, I'm going to use text-to-speech, because I don't want to read this out loud. This is, it's already tr troubling to hear. So, let's, let's show this part. I'm 21 and she's 18. I'm dying to just get at her feet. I would love to just ask her for a foot job. You what? But I'm worried she might react badly. You're worried that she might react badly? I'd be more worried about the fact you wanna fuck your sister. That is strange. But just the idea that she might agree to that, or even just to let me massage her feet, makes me really want to ask her. Any advice? Uh, yes, I have some advice. Get help. That is strange. So this next one, it's it's a bit longer. Um, not as concerning as some others, but apparently this guy had a wet dream <laughs> about his mom. And we're gonna get right into that. So two days ago, I saw a wet dream of my mother. Now this may be because of the fact that for some odd days, my mind is filled with thoughts of my mother. No bad thoughts this time. Though I see her sexually but this time I was considering about confessing to her about my incest fetish. Big McThankies from McSpankies. <laughs> so in the middle of all this I saw a dream of her in her white bra and me fondling her tits and talking sexually with her followed by I shoving my dick in her mouth. Wow. This, this escalated really quickly. As soon as I woke up I decided to tell her about this. So during the breakfast I was mustering courage to open the topic with her. She must have sensed something that she asked whether I was alright or not. Seeing this as an opportunity I told her about my dilemma. I told her that I have something serious to tell her. She stopped eating and listened to me. Did you not do your homework? No mom I wanna titty fuck you. Uh, what? For the next 15 minutes I told her everything I had in my heart and ended with that morning's dream. Now, to my surprise she was having a smile on her face all the while. When I finished she took a deep breath and told me that's all. You were stressing over this. Seems like your little boy is obsessed over me. She got up and kissed my cheeks and told me that she is glad that I shared what I felt with her. Now this is where I'm confused. While she was taking the plated back to kitchen she turned to me and said I'll see what I can do to help you with this followed by the most elegant smile I've seen on her face. Yeah, she was she was probably talking about sending you to therapy. I really can't figure this part out. The next is even worse, believe me. I have wanted to do sexual things with my daughter for a long time now. You what? The idea of defiling her is so hot. Look what you've done. But I'm not sure how I could begin to initiate anything between us. I guess I'm looking for advice on how to show her I'm interested in her sexually without making it super awkward if she isn't. Any help would be appreciated. Now this next one, it's, it's about 5 minutes long, and it's the worst, I saved the worst for last. I've lurked here for a long time under a different account and never in a million years thought I'd have anything real to share on this sub, but here I am. I had sex with my mom literally less than 24 hours ago. You what? It's surreal to write it, but there we go. I wanted to post about it last night, but I think I needed a day to process it. I'm 27, mom is 51. I've had an incest fantasy forever, and when I was in my teens I actually fantasized a lot about her. At one point I actually told her about it. I think I was 16 or something. We were alone together in the car and I was feeling extremely horny, and finally sorta engineered a conversation that would allow me to admit my fantasy. She obviously rejected me. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what she said, but I do remember her saying that it would harm me and we would regret it if we did it. I don't remember if she said anything about it being wrong or something she wouldn't want. At the time, 
I felt soundly and firmly rejected and didn't think too much about exactly how she rejected me. That was the end of that, at least as far as I could tell. When I got a little older I basically stopped fantasizing about her, just fantasizing about meter per second stuff in the abstract instead. I was in a long-term relationship with a girl since just after college ended, and about three weeks ago we broke up. I saw it coming, but it still hurts. Mom, meanwhile, just lost her second husband about two months ago to an illness, my real dad died when I was an adolescent, yeah, she has bad luck. Yeah obviously cause you're her son. <laughs> I see my mom maybe twice a month, and we probably talk once a week usually, though we've been talking a little more since her husband died. I don't really know why. But I didn't tell her about my girlfriend until yesterday when I went over her place. She was loving and supportive as usual, and we commiserated about love and relationship stuff over some beer and wine. We even got talking about sex a bit, which is not something we ever do. Just to be clear, I was not thinking about her sexually during any of this, nor was I getting any vibes from her or feeling any tension. The conversation was winding down and I was thinking about going home but didn't really want to be alone again. Suddenly, out of the blue, she asks me if I remembered that thing I told her in the car all those years ago. It took me half a second before I realized what she was talking about. I immediately started feeling nervous and shaky about her bringing it up, because I think my mind already guessed somehow where she was headed. Anyway, I told her that I remembered and she asked me if I still think about it. I played dumb a bit and asked what she meant, and she was super blunt about it, you and me having sex. You better fuck my asshole or you're grounded, fucker. I told her the truth, which is that I didn't, and she was just like oh, okay. I asked her why she wanted to know and she said something like well, now that you're older I don't think it would be the end of the world. I went back and forth in my head for a bit feeling like I would regret it forever if I turned this down, but also feeling like I might regret going through with it. I mean incest has been my fantasy forever, and I used to fantasize about her in particular all the time, but the other part of me was pretty apprehensive for obvious reasons. For reasons I can't really explain, though, I suddenly just decided I wanted to do it. So I told her that. I want to say that we went after each other like wild animals, but that's not what happened. There was just some quiet at first, and then she asked if I wanted to do it that night or wait a bit. I said I was okay with that night, and then we stood up and started cleaning the kitchen. I followed her upstairs to her bedroom, and she sat on the bed. For whatever reason I decided to sit in the chair on the other end of the room. I'll admit that I was starting to worry that I had made a mistake, but I was also feeling a lot of thrill and horniness. We sat there until it became clear she wanted me to initiate. I went over to her and started kissing her neck. And then. Yeah. We had sex. I think it definitely took us a bit of time to get into it, but once we did it was pretty passionate. The orgasm was very very intense. It was like one of those almost double orgasms I only ever get if I'm high, except sharper if that makes sense. I felt a little weird about it afterwards, but nothing insane. I don't know if it's because I had had these fantasies my whole life and have just gotten over the shame, or if it's something else. I left that night because commuting to my job from her place is too difficult. When I got home I considered writing the whole thing up and posting it here, and then decided I really just needed to sleep a bit to clear my brain. She texted me earlier today to ask if I was okay about everything, and I told her I was. She said she was too and asked if I wanted to meet again next weekend, and I said yes. So I guess we're going to do it again soon. I guess we should probably talk about what we want out of the whole thing too. My sense is that it's mostly just about intimacy for her, and I think that's all I really want too.